everyone. Welcome back to another edition of The Drop. It's been another big week in the managerial merry-go-round that is English football. Sam Allardyce is England's new manager, yet the same man who plays that silky, smooth possession-based game the FA require from their so-called DNA. Yeah, I know. Big Sam will take charge of the failing team that woefully got kicked out of the Euros by Iceland, a team with a dentist as their co-manager, I kid you not. Uh, so without giving Allardyce too much of a kicking, I think it's important to spell out why this could go horribly wrong again for England and also say why it could prove to be a stroke of genius. As the man in charge of Sunderland, West Ham, Newcastle and Bolton, uh, he's lost more than he's won. Granted, he's got the fourth highest number of Premier League games under his belt, but it's points that win prizes and Big Sam is known as a relegation specialist rather than a trophy winner. In fact, he's actually never won a major trophy apart from a title with Notts County about 20 years ago. But the long ball, direct and bruising game that he employs actually does have some sort of rhyme and reason to it. He was one of the first to adopt ProZone, which is a stats-based uh, approach to analysing the game. And he also achieves uh, the job he's been hired for, namely keeping teams up. And he's pretty good at playing the hand he's dealt with too. Bolton were perhaps the most unglamorous team in the Premier League. When Big Sam was in charge, he managed big names at the time like Yuri Djokaev and JJ Okocha, uh, taking the side on a good run in European football. Big Sam once bemoaned the fact he'd never managed a top club because his surname wasn't Aladici. Now, there's no excuse this time, he's got the biggest job of them all. England's World Cup qualifiers start in September and he's got to name his captain and Bill Bridges with the big name Premier League managers who he's pissed off in the past. It seems to me the FA don't really know what the heck they want really. Is Aladice the right man for the job? Yes, in the circumstances. They tried the big foreign names in the past and got them nowhere. So it feels like this is really the last throw of the dice for this one. One thing you cannot fault though is Big Sam's enthusiasm. He really, really, really wanted this job. Ten years of hurt have been brewing from when he was rejected for it last time. Uh, we wish him well though because, let's be honest, it can't get any worse than it already is. <laughs> get that smile. I can't imagine, I can't imagine why we can't get that smile. Uh, excuse me, I can't stop smiling because I've got this job. Um, this is a job I've waited for for many, many years and uh, I'm absolutely delighted. Next up, meet the woman who quit her job to spend 18 hours a day, yes, 18, playing Pokemon Go. There's a good reason 26-year-old Sophia's done this. She can make £7,000, apparently, by selling the accounts that she creates on Pokemon on eBay. It looks like a valid business proposition if you've got the time and dedication. Uh, the auction site has accounts for sales ranging from £50 to several thousand, depending on the characters and combat points on offer. Sophia, who has a law degree, is a professional Pokemon trainer now. You'd think that she'd realise, though, that the gamers who buy and sell accounts on eBay risk having their accounts suspended as it breaks developer Niantic's terms of service, which they state can't be sold for commercial gain. So that career could be over before it's even started. And it seems the whole Pokemon Go craze has royally annoyed disciples of Queen Bee. In the Stade de France, where Beyonce was performing uh, to a packed out crowd, it didn't stop one obsessed fan using her smartphone to catch some monsters, as you do. Anand Desai Barokia filmed the Pokemon Go player and uploaded the footage to Instagram. The unnamed woman uh, can't even bring herself to look up as Beyonce starts singing and walking just metres away. Crazy. Maybe it's crazy in love. <laughs> uh, the whole world has gone mad. Take a look at this. Pokemon! Look at where she is! Look at where she is! She's next to the stage! This is a stage, this bitch is buying Pokemon! Bonkers. Let's hope the bundle of fun that is Prince George doesn't get in on the act. He's only three years old, but it seems he has bigger fish to fry, apparently, mainly annoying the RSPCA. The animal charity couldn't resist a dig at the snaps released on his birthday, where the future king was feeding ice cream to the family dog Lupo. The charity stressed some human foods, such as ice cream, can be dangerous for dogs. We would advise people to be cautious uh, when giving their dogs food meant for human consumption, as some items like chocolate can be highly toxic to dogs and dairy items items can be difficult for them to digest. I suppose they're just doing their job, but surely, like, a little tiny bit is OK? You could argue that alcohol is toxic to us, but hey, that's never stopped a good night out, has it? Finally, to Comic-Con in California, and some of the biggest film franchises are showcasing their latest trailers. Two of the biggest, the DC and Marvel blockbusters, Justice League and Doctor Strange, starring the UK's very own Benedict Cumberbatch. Let me know which one is your favourite below. From far away, I'm looking for warriors. This stranger. Others like him. I'm building an alliance to defend us. It's very important that I see this man. I heard about you. Didn't think you were real. I'm real. 
that's useful. Through the mystic arts, we harness energy and shape reality. We travel great distances in an instant. Be careful which path you travel down, Strange. Stronger men than you have lost their way. I've spent so many years hearing through time. Looking for you. Sweet. Right, that's it for this week. Post which film you're looking forward to the most below and what you make of the appointment of Big Sam. Until next time, we're out. Football at the FA required from their so-called DMA. DMA. DNA. Proper of unburn, Scarlet. Sweet. Right, that's it for this week. Poach with... Poach. Two of the biggest, the DC and Marvel franchises. <sighs> Doesn't sound right. Doesn't sound right. Doesn't matter.